Hello, welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. This is Adam. I'm recording a Movie Studio 16 Platinum tutorial on audio envelopes. So if you've ever been wondering, how do I adjust audio on the fly? For example, instead of having to uh, uh, slowly fade something up or fade something down and cut the audio into little pieces or to put things on different track and have the volume low on one track and high on one track, those are great ways to do it sometimes. Sometimes that is the best way to edit the audio. But sometimes you got one continuous track and you just got a couple of things you want to tweak, whether or not you want the music to fade up or fade down behind you or whether or not you want the... Um, you know, uh, just to fix something. So let me show you what I got to fix here. So if you listen to my audio, it's gonna be a shut up and sit down rip off. I'm doing a shut up and sit down rip off uh, to do a Maki Koro review on our gaming channel, and the audio recorded is extremely quiet. And I recorded it quiet on purpose, but there's some problems. Uh, when I slam the table, it's loud. So first, there is a tutorial about how to use the track compressor. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that today, but I just know that this is probably what I'm going to have to do to get my audio where I want it. And it's and I know that this is the compression I want for my microphone. This is just stuff I already know. But this is one way to boost the volume. Hello, welcome to Tech Dive Game. So I already got it between 3 and 12. That's where I, exactly where I want my audio. But that means that this... Hello, welcome to Tech Dive Gaming. Right here. This is going to be a... And Boom! Peaks at 3.2. Look at that. And review. Now that time it was at six. So what I want to do is I want to highlight this. Go to Insert Audio Envelopes Volume. Now here I have my audio envelope. If you notice this, I can right click and hit Add Point. Now this I can scoot along. I can make the volume rise to increase the volume or I can make it fall to decrease the volume. So you can see with this being a fade an audio how this can easily be helpful. So if I want to get rid of this boom right here I can right click add point, right click add point, right click add point. Now I have four points. I can leave this one right there at no volume change. I can have this one drop off really quickly and I want I mean really quickly. I don't want this to be I want it to be subtly noticeable. It's that I've done a volume change, but I really, I'm really more looking to that make that sure that one falls at zero. And so I'm going to scoot it over. You can see it'll tell you exactly where the volume is on that little drop down on your mouse. And I want this down like this. Let me see. Let me listen. Then sit down, rip off, where we unbox and review. Boom, that little boom right there. And review. It is now so much more palatable. It's not going to kill someone's ears in the speaker. And I have not had to cut anything up and slice anything up. I'm going to need these audio envelopes throughout, which is why I want to use them, because there's a few spots where I just smack the table or do something kind of extra loud. So I would like to be able to go in here and adjust that audio on the fly as I'm editing. So. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a Movie Studio 16 Platinum tutorial. I also have a pro version of this, which is very similar because the softwares are very similar. And uh, we have more, lots, lots, lots more tutorials coming out. So like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more tutorials like this one. I'm working on Udemy How to Edit series right now. I'm hard at work at that. I know some of you guys have asked me for a uh, keyframing tutorial. I'm also working on that. Some of you guys have asked me for a... Um, sky replacement tutorial and I'm also working on that so I got those two things coming down the pipe soon and uh, hard at work at a lot of things if you want to see this uh, Maki Koro review you can go to our gaming channel and uh, give it a look it's uh, linked from our page from our Tech Dive AV Club homepage so thanks for watching I'll see you next time